Um, the other thing we want to calculate are what are the import duties. So this is one of, you know, um, so we're exporting from the U.S., uh, importing to India. Currency will be U.S. dollars. And then it will ask you for the HS code. Typically, you'll want to have it. It's, it's the harmonized um, uh, schedule codes. Uh, we won't put it in here, but it's something that, you know, if you were exporting, you would need to know what that is as well. Um, our product value, um, oh, it's actually $5, and our quantity is 1000 Shipping cost, we already looked that up, 9885 because we're doing the fast um, express option. Um, and our insurance is included in that, so we're going to put zero for the insurance because we're already covered by um, the provider that we're using. So this will show us... So this, our total for duties and taxes is $2,080. Um, and again, you know, this is for, calculates it all for us, actually including the shipping and uh, freight um, as well. So we can, this will give us an estimate. Our total is um, $16,965 divided by what we had, a thousand granola bars. Right. So the price, the it ends up being the total cost um, to get to the buyer in India is uh, sixteen dollars. Um, it's sixteen point nine six. So let's say it's seventeen dollars, right, uh, for a box of granola bars. So then, you know, why is that important? So we went from saying our box of granola bars is five dollars, and by the time it gets to India, it's it's seventeen dollars. If you had duties, freight. Um, and India has value added tax. Um, let's say we did this arrangement where we told the, you know, the India seller was planning to sell the, the granola bars for $15 a box. Um, and then by the time it gets to him, it's $17. He's not going to make any money on that. Our $5 granola bars are now, um, $17 for a box. Um, so we lose money in that case. Um, so that's where doing this homework, uh, before you sell your product um, is extremely important because then you can check what your retail pricing should be.